America's symbol of excellence in sports entertainment. Welcome, everybody, to the Royal Rumble. We are going to start things off with one of two Royal Rumble matches. This, of course, the number one contender battle royal. President Jack Tunney made the decision last week on Raw to have the top four contenders battle it out. The winner of this match will receive a shot at Ric Flair and the WWF Championship. The other three competitors will earn a spot in the Royal Rumble. That, of course, our main event tonight. And Rowdy Roddy Piper, the first entrant, making his way to the ring. A standard Battle Royal rules. So four-man Battle Royal there. I got to say, there's going to be a lot of room for these wrestlers to go at it. Unlike 10, 20, or 30-man Battle Royals, there's not a lot of room but these four men will have a lot of space to punish their opponents and try to get them over the top rope. It will be interesting to see who may work together to help eliminate somebody else. And here he comes making his way to the ring, the macho man, Randy Savage. Macho Man making his way to the ring. The entrant number two, of course, a battle royal. All four men will start in the ring at the same time. And the last man standing, the last man not to be thrown over the top rope will receive that world title opportunity tonight. As the fans here in Houston are on their feet, showing their support for the Macho Man, Randy Savage. Of course, we have the Intercontinental title match on the line as well tonight when Brett the Hitman Hart takes on Doink and the World Tag Team Championship as Money Inc. defend against the Legion of Doom. And the fans rise as Texas' own American Dream Dusty Rhodes begins to make his way to ringside. One has to think being in Houston and a Texas native that may just give Dusty Rhodes the advantage in this matchup. Of course, he has had some issues with Ric Flair and Mr. Perfect in recent weeks teaming with Hulk Hogan. It will be interesting to see if that tag team workmanship carries over to tonight. Maybe Dusty and Hogan make a pact where they eliminate Savage and Piper and then do battle themselves. And there he is, the immortal Hulk Hogan rounding out this top four contenders. Again, the winner of this match will get a World Wrestling Federation title match against Nature Boy Ric Flair tonight. And the other three, well, they'll get something of a consolation prize. They will be three of the 20 Royal Rumble participants 
So they will still have a shot to main event WrestleMania against the World Wrestling Federation champion, regardless of who that is. So all is not lost, but we will find out very shortly which one of these four men will get the world title match against Nature Boy Ric Flair tonight. The time for talking is done. And we are set to go, each man standing in a respective corner. Let the best man win, and you know Ric Flair is watching in the back. And Hulk Hogan posing, Macho Man posing, and Dustin Rhodes, Dusty Rhodes and Rowdy Piper going at it. Piper taking advantage now of Savage posing to the crowd. And Hogan ramming the head of Dusty Rhodes in the top turnbuckle. Hogan trying to eliminate Dusty Rhodes early. I guess it's never too early to try to eliminate your opponent. Piper and Savage going tooth and nail. A big elbow by Piper. But Savage able to mount a comeback and a reversal into a suplex. Oh and oh, Hogan! Close lines over the top rope, Savage! Grand charge! And eliminated Hogan! Hulk Hogan will not get a tunnel opportunity tonight! He will get a Royal Rumble live. I call that an upset! Hogan was defensive against Dusty Rhodes. Savage took a running charge and eliminated Hogan. Hulk Hogan's the first elimination here. And I would call that something of an upset. I mean, I, I don't know how much of an upset it could be. There's four men. But Hogan clearly did not see Savage charging. And he clotheslined Hogan over the top rope and Dusty. Clothesline Savage into the turnbuckle. So what started out as four is now down to three. One of these men will get an opportunity at Ric Flair later on tonight. And now Piper draping Rhodes across the top rope like a guillotine. And ramming the head of Rhodes into the top turnbuckle. Now double team. Piper and Savage going to work on Dusty Rhodes. Size and stature wise, Dusty Rhodes would be the biggest challenge. And of course, there's no love lost between Macho Man and Dusty Rhodes. Rhodes with a Russian leg sweep takes down the Macho Man. Piper with a big right hand takes down Dusty. Every man for himself. Every man wants that world title match. And Ric Flair has to be loving this because he's going to get a worn down opponent. And if you are just tuning in, Hulk Hogan has been eliminated from this match rather quickly. A running clothesline over the top rope by the Macho Man and who has been busted open by a series of right hands by Roddy Piper. And now Piper with a neck breaker and Savage hopped right up. Savage with a knee to Piper. I think Savage saw the blood flow coming from his forehead and woke up. Oh, and Savage eliminates Dusty Rhodes! The Macho Man on a one-man mission to get this world title opportunity against Ric Flair. He's eliminated Hulk Hogan and Dusty Rhodes. Now only Piper stands in his way. He leaves in a big splash off the top rope. The Macho Man in classic form tonight. Macho Man has Piper. Sets up Piper. Could he be eliminating Piper? Trying to take out Piper. Has him halfway there. Piper over the top. Can Piper make a comeback? Savage trying to kick him out, but Piper with a punch to the thigh. And Piper has life for now. And up and over goes Piper again. Savage has Piper eliminated. But Piper crawls back in. Piper. 
Piper now on the offense. A big right hand, a left hand. Another right. Down goes Savage. And Piper choking Savage in the corner. That's a legal move. There's no referee. There's no rules. Just throw your opponent over the top rope. And now Piper throws Savage into the turnbuckle. A reversal by Savage. Savage trying to eliminate Piper and that blood coming down the forehead of the Macho Man who has made two eliminations so far. He only has Piper left. And a big clothesline by the Macho Man takes down Rowdy Roddy Piper. One of these men will get a world title opportunity tonight. The other man will go into the 30 or 20 man Royal Rumble. And a clothesline by Piper now takes down Savage. And Piper showboating on the second turnbuckle. He should be trying to throw Savage over the top rope. Piper now picks up Savage. Leans Savage against the rope. Picks up the Macho Man. He's going to throw Savage out, and he does! And your winner, Rowdy Roddy Piper. He will get a world title opportunity tonight at the Royal Rumble against Ric Flair. While Dusty Rhodes, Hulk Hogan, and Randy Savage will be participants in the Royal Rumble match itself. Will we have a new World Heavyweight Champion in Rowdy Roddy Piper? We will find out later tonight. But your winner, Rowdy Roddy Piper fans, the World Tag Team Championship match is next when the Legion of Doom take on Money Inc. Don't go away. We'll be right back after this quick timeout. So Rowdy Roddy Piper winning the four-person battle royal to get a world title shot in the main event tonight against Nature Boy Ric Flair. But now the World Tag Team Championship will be on the line as the Legion of Doom making their way to the ring. And look at this. They are all dressed in black. No colors. No smiles. No pumping fists in the air. The Legion of Doom have come here today to win the World Tag Team Championship. It was two weeks ago on Monday Night Raw when Money Inc. defeated the Legion of Doom in a non-title matchup. And I think fans everywhere thought that that match was going to be the measuring stick for this match to give the LOD some momentum. What well, was in that match that Hawk wore different attire for the first time, showing that maybe the LOD weren't unified in their goal. But we know that Hawk and Animal are close like brothers, and that it was a mentality that Hawk had where he thought they had to go back to their roots of kicking butt and taking names, or in this case, taking titles. And it looks like Animal is on the same page now as Hawk. And if that's the case, then the Legion of Doom may be unstoppable as Money Inc. make their way to the ring. And they're seemingly unfazed by the fact that the LOD appear to be on the same page. Could this be the last time Money Inc. walked to the ring holding that gold we'll find out in a moment as money inc make their way to the ring the lod on the outside as dibiase pointing and already arguing with the fans at ringside they need to focus on the lod who is now making some motions and here they come they're in the ring the bell hasn't started yet and they've attacked Money Inc. prior to the bell. Hawk now working over DiBiase. And a power bomb. Down goes the Million Dollar Man. Animal and IRS going at it. Hawk throws DiBiase into the turnbuckle. Runs, charges, 
Close line. Down goes the Million Dollar Man. Animal with a kick to the midsection has IRS up. And a power bomb down to the mat goes IRS. The Legion of Doom taking it to Money Inc. The bell hasn't even rung yet. The World Tag Team toes are in the ring. DiBiase still in his getup. And Hawk doing the work on DiBiase now. Animal in control over IRS. This is the Legion of Doom that we're used to. And both men going for overhead suplexes. Money Inc. fighting back. Close line by IRS. Close line by DiBiase. The bell has still not sounded yet. This match is not official. Animal now throws IRS into the turnbuckle. Picks him up. Puts him on the top turnbuckle. And throws him over the top rope. Goes IRS. It's 2 on one in the ring. There's the bell. Hawk now still working over the Million Dollar Man. Picks him up. And a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Down goes DiBiase. The crowd here in Houston erupts. The LOD in control. Will we have new World Tag Team Champions roll up from behind? Hawk on top. One. And broken up by IRS. DiBiase with an elbow to the side of the head. Didn't even face Hawk in another belly-to-belly -belly suplex. As Animal with an elbow drop on IRS. Hawk now climbing the top rope. Has DiBiase in his sights. IRS takes down Animal. He leaps in a big splash off the top. And DiBiase in a world of trouble. Hawk rolls him over. Goes through the cover broken up by IRS. What pandemonium here in the early going in this contest. As Hawk picks up DiBiase and spikes him down with a pile driver. Hawk, Hawk with a knee drop to Animal. I think that was a move to wake Animal up. And it did. Animal's fighting back against IRS. Hawk taking care of DiBiase. Belly to belly suplex. As Animal going to work on IRS. Hawk climbs the top rope. IRS in the turnbuckle. Animal throws IRS in. Hawk preparing to leap with a flying guillotine off the top rope. IRS takes down Animal. Hawk. Has IRS, atomic drop, down goes IRS, Hawk, goes for the cover on DiBiase, one, two, and three, total domination by the Legion of Doom, and we have new World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Champions, what a display of total domination, the Legion of Doom, that has to be record time for a title match, I think this is like a five minute match. The LOD taking care of Money Inc. They're the new World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Champions. And what a display. If the Legion of Doom are finally on the same page again, who can stop them? Who can take the tunnels from them? And there they are, Hawk and Animal. The new World Wrestling Federation Champions. We have new World Tag Team Champions. We'll be having new Intercontinental Champion. Stay tuned as Doink the Clown challenges Brett the Hitman Hart. We'll be right back after this quick timeout. And welcome back to the Royal Rumble. New World Tag Team Champions will be having new Intercontinental Champion. We're going to find out here as the introduction being made for the challenger, Doink the Clown. It was on our debut Raw episode this year when Doink the Clown was revealed to be the wrestler who stole took hid Bret Hart's intercontinental title and Bret kind of disrespected Doink a little bit saying a clown took my title and Doink said if you ever disrespect me like that again it will be the last time well in recent weeks Doink the Clown has pinfall victories over Greg the Hammer Valentine Tito Santana former Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion. So he has done his best to prepare for this matchup. But no disrespect intended for Greg Valentine and Tito Santana. They are not the excellence of execution, Bret Hart. 
a much different style. We will see if Doink the Clown can win the title tonight. And the fans here in Houston rise as Brett the Hitman Hart makes his way to the ring. Bret Hart has backed away from no challenges during this tunnel reign. He is taking on all comers. And he will continue to do so while he is champion, including Doink the Clown. My only fear is that maybe Brett is overlooking Doink as Doink attacks Brett from behind. A chop block takes down the hitman, Doink has the Intercontinental title in his hand and wallops Bret Hart with it, not once, not twice. Three times on the knee now. The referee allowing this to happen. Runs charged, Owen takes down the Hitman. And Doink in full advantage in the early going in this matchup. Working now Bret the Hitman Hart stomping away. And Bret Hart able to get his ring coat off. But Doink staying on top of the Hitman with a headbutt. Another headbutt coming in right on the arm and shoulder of the Hitman. And this is why I was afraid that maybe Bret Hart took Doink lightly. Hart now able to fight his way out. And hitting Doink with several right hands. And the Hitman resorting to tactics that aren't really Hitman-like. That maneuver was as a suplex overgoes Doink. Big left hand by Brett. Followed up by a right hand by Doink. Another right hand by Doink. Doink beating the Hitman to the punch or the kick in this case. As Hitman trying to... Oh, and it close lines Doink over the top rope. The Hitman trying to get out of the path of... Punches and kicks by Doink. Just closed on Doink to the outside. Now the referee has begun to count. And Doink in control on the outside. So this match thus far controlled by Doink, of course, thanks to the early attack prior to the bell. And they're battling it out on the floor. Hart. Rams the head of Doink into the ringside, the edge of the ring, I should say. The hardest part of the ring throws Doink back into the ring. And Hart now in control. But Doink making the comeback. A big right handed kick to the midsection has Hart in trouble. Oh, and a beautiful maneuver by Doink, a monkey flip. And he's laughing to the crowd here in Houston. Doink has technical skills. And a series of forearms and a back elbow off the rope is Doink. And a big clothesline takes down the excellence of execution. Doink now in the second turnbuckle. Oh, and taking a page out of Bret Hart. And I think that fired up Hart. He did that elbow drop off the second turnbuckle. A move taken from the hitman. And Bret Hart, well, I don't think he was impressed by that attempt. Moved out of the way, and now the Hitman back in control. Hart now. Picks up Doink. And now a submission maneuver on Doink. Can Doink escape? Doink punching his way out. And hip tosses Hart over. The damage done to the arm of Doink, but Doink stomping away on the back of the Hitman. And now again, a reverse chin lock. Look at the placement of the knee of Doink in the back of Bret Hart's head and upper neck area. Hart able to escape, but Doink stays on top of the Hitman. You gotta give Doink credit, he knows what he's doing. On the second turnbuckle again, misses the elbow drop, paying, I don't think that's homage to Bret Hart, I think he's, Trying to play mind games with the Hitman, but Bret Hart had it well scouted and moved out of the way the second time. 
And into the turnbuckle goes Doink. Brett runs, charges, Doink. Oh, pulls the referee in front of a charging heart. And wait a second, who's the ringside? A, that looked like another Doink. Handed Doink a chair. Has Hart and DDT's Hart on the chair. The referee down, doesn't see a thing. Hart has been busted open. Doink is gonna pin Bret Hart. Doink picks up the referee, who's in position one, two, and no, a kick out by Hart. Fans, I think a second I saw a clown come under the ring and hand Doink the clown the chair. I think there's two Doinks. Hart now getting back to his feet, takes over Doink. Hart has been busted open. Into the turnbuckle goes Doink. And an elbow shot by Doink in the forehead of clothesline takes down the hitman. Doink climbing the top rope. Could this be the whooping cushion? Hart getting back to his feet. Doink leaps. Hart steps aside. Doink misses with the whooping cushion. Brett goes for the cover. Will he retain one, two, and a kick out of two by Doink? Doink went for the whooping cushion. Hart stepped out of the way. Inside cradle. Referee in position one. Two, and no, a kick up by Doink. The fans here in Houston trying to rally behind the Hitman. Doink reversal, throws Hitman into the triple, who runs, charges, misses. But Doink with a snapmare, and then, oh, a fist to the head. Doink now climbing the top rope again. I think he's going for the whoopee cushion again. He leaves the one elbow drop off the top. That has to be on the Brett is in trouble. Doink not going for the pinfall. Instead, Doink climbing the top again. We're gonna have a new champion, Doink on the top rope. He's setting up the hitman. Could it be the whoopee cushion? This time he connects, hooks the leg. Referee in position, one, no, two, no, not like this, three. And Doink the clown is one the Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship here at the Royal Rumble. It took a steel chair shot and I swear it was another clown. That replay did not show it, but there was a second clown underneath the ring that handed Doink that chair. And here's Doink setting up the Hitman. I think this is the first whoopee cushion attempt at heart. Moved out of the way. Here's another view. Hart moved out of the way. And that kind of gave Hart a second wind. But he was unable to pin Doink. Hart trying to do everything he can to retain the title with an inside cradle here. But here it is, the whoopee cushion connects on the second time, Doink hooks the leg, and we have a new World Wrestling Federation Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion. I don't believe it. And I don't think fans watching at home do either. A clown holds one of the top titles here in the World Wrestling Federation. And fans are staring around. Wait a second. There is another clown. He's coming up from underneath the ring. There's two doinks. Doink face to face with another. There's two doinks. Fans, the world title match is next. Don't go away. And welcome back to the Royal Rumble. I am still in shock over what we saw. Multiple doinks. And we have a new Intercontinental Champion. Will we have a new World Heavyweight Champion? As Rowdy Roddy Piper makes his way to the ring. He won the four-man battle royal to earn a shot at Nature Boy Ric Flair. And the Hot Rod... Looking to see what he can do against the Nature Boy. He had a match against Ric Flair several weeks ago. 
at which Ric Flair got himself intentionally disqualified. It was a non-title matchup. But that kept Roddy Piper in the discussion for being a top contender. And when President Jack Tunney made the decision to have a four-man battle royal, Piper was one of the four contestants. And he went on to win. And he will have his shot at the world championship against this man here, nature boy Ric Flair. Of course, Bobby the Brain Heenan in tow. And the world champion making his way to the ring. The fans here in Houston giving Ric Flair a mixed reaction. Some cheer him, some boo him. I assure you they all respect him. And of course, Roddy Piper and Ric Flair, no strangers to each other. Roddy Piper was one of Ric Flair's first opponents when he made his way to the World Wrestling Federation. These two, no strangers to each other, we should have a great world title match ahead of us. We've already seen the crowning of a new intercontinental champion in Doink the Clown. I cannot believe I'm saying that out loud. And we also have new world tag team champions in the Legion of Doom as they defeated Money Incorporated in a wild Texas Tornado style match. And the introductions being made. As Ric Flair being introduced to the crowd here in Houston. And of course, still to come, the 20-man Royal Rumble. The winner of that match will get a world title opportunity at WrestleMania. Will one of these two men be champion at WrestleMania? We are in the month of January. February is just a few days away. And Flair going to work on the leg of Roddy Piper. You know, Flair has an advantage. He did not wrestle yet tonight. Roddy Piper had to survive that four-man battle royal, which he did. And some could say that maybe Piper's warmed up, but Flair is a consummate professional. He knows how to attack his opponent and what their weaknesses are. And Ric Flair, of course, known as a 60-minute man, he can wrestle for a very long time. He has the strength and the stamina to do so. But Roddy Piper already wrestled, what, 15 minutes in that battle royal. So Piper has his work cut out for him. Up and over goes Flair, up and over goes Flair again. Flair says that's enough of this game. He runs and takes down Piper, nicely done. Ric Flair is the dirtiest player in the game. As he goes for a cover here on Piper, one and the kick out at one by Piper. Ric Flair, he is the world champion. And when you're the world champion, everybody guns for you. But that aside, he has his fair share of enemies. And I think they'd be his enemies whether he was champion or not as Piper disposes Flair to the outside. The referee has begun to count, and Piper, of course, is not going to get counted out. Flair rams the head of Piper into the ringside. That's the hardest part of the ring, is that ringside, that ring edge, excuse me. The hardest metal, the thickest brace of that ring. Flair with a big chop. Piper chops back. 
Now exchanging blows, Piper throws Flair into the ring and follows suit. This match will continue as Flair, oh, Flair taken down by Piper, a knee out of nowhere, takes down the Nature Boy. And the fans like that one. As Flair now going to work, misses a punch to the stomach, does not miss an overhand, overhead right hand. And Piper in trouble up against the ropes as Bobby Heenan cheers on Ric Flair. And now Flair working the arm, wrapping that arm around the top rope. That is a steel cable wrapped in tape. And now drops the knee across the forehead. Could this be the beginning of the end? Flair setting up Piper. Couldn't we see a figure four leg lock in the future? But no, it's blocked and spiked with the DDT is Rowdy Rowdy Piper. Piper trying to make a comeback. Can we have a new world heavyweight champion? Can Piper pull this out? He's stomping away on Flair, who's in deep trouble. Piper countered the figure four leg lock. And Flair takes him over with a gut run suplex. And now Flair, dragging Piper to the middle of the ring, goes for the cover. Referee counts one, two, and a kick out of two by Piper. And the pace of this match has kicked up. And now Piper throws Flair into the turnbuckles. Runs, charges, clothesline, down goes Flair. And Roddy Piper taking a page out of Ric Flair's book with a rake of the back. But Flair going back to work on that leg. And that is the mark of a champion. He knows that that figure four leg lock could just be around the corner. And now Flair going back to work on Piper, but Piper backdrops Flair. He's not done yet. And now Piper setting up Flair. What's he have in store here? A sleeper hold. Good night, Irene is locked in. It's in the middle of the ring. Are we going to have a new world champion? Piper locking it in. Can Flair escape? He, he cannot. Piper lets him out. Piper dragging Flair to the middle of the ring. I think Flair made it to the ropes. Piper's going to go for the cover. He's on top one. Two, and a kick out of two by Flair. Oh, I think Flair made it to the ropes. But I thought we had a new world champion. Piper now going to work on Flair. Lines him up, big right hand takes down Flair. Piper now stopping away, choking Flair. He has a count of five. Has to be careful not to get disqualified. Piper now staying on top of Flair. He can feel that world title coming around his waist. Flair is in a world of trouble. We're gonna have a new world champion if this keeps up. Piper now dragging Flair to the center of the ring, working the arm of Flair now. And Piper with a series of right hands on the forehead of the Nature Boy. Another series of right hands. And Flair has been busted open. He's wearing the crimson mask. Piper working the neck of Flair. Flair trying to escape. A punch to the midsection. A second punch. He gets out. And a, a thumb to the eyes by Piper. And Flair into the turnbuckle again. Close line right from behind. Flair is in a world of trouble. We're going to have a new world champion. Piper drags Flair to the middle of the ring. He's going for a figure four. He has a figure four locked in. Flair cannot escape. Flair's in the middle of the ring. Is Flair going to tap? No, Flair gets out. Flair gets out of the figure four. And a bloody mess that Ric Flair is, is hanging on to the world tunnel by the skin of his teeth. And Piper with a high knee lift, takes down Flair, goes for the cover, new champion, one, two, and throw a kick out by Flair. And Piper can't believe it. And we were so close to having a new world heavyweight champion. And now Flair takes Piper over and stomping away, Flair will not go down without a fight. He is wearing the crimson mask. He has been busted open. 
and Flair doing everything he can to make sure he stays the World Heavyweight Champion in the ropes. And another! Good night, Irene! Piper has it locked in! Is Piper gonna win the world title? Flair trying to escape and drops down and that breaks the hold. Piper stunned, Flair has Piper. Front face lock. Flair trying to lift Piper up for a suplex and does, down goes Piper. Flair now setting up Piper, could it be? The figure four leg lock, he's letting him get back to his feet. Takes Piper down, woos to the crowd. And the figure four leg lock is locked in. Can Piper escape? The world title on the line. Can Piper get out of the figure four? He cannot. He taps. And Ric Flair is still the World Wrestling Federation Champion. What a match this was between these two men. And you got to give kudos to Roddy Piper. He wrestled a four-man battle royal earlier tonight to get this title opportunity. And he gave Ric Flair everything he had and came so close on multiple occasions to winning the World Heavyweight title. But Ric Flair survived. That's what he did. He survived in this match here. And here are some highlights from earlier in the contest. But your winner and still World Heavyweight Champion, Nature Boy Ric Flair. Fans, the 20-man Royal Rumble match is next. Will Ric Flair be defending that world title against the winner at WrestleMania? We'll find out. Stay tuned, everybody. And away we go with the Royal Rumble as Butchwhacker Butch and Bushwhacker Luke drew numbers one and two. They will be starting out here. Of course, the winner of this match will get a world title opportunity. Thus far, it will be against Nature Boy Ric Flair, who was victorious in his match against Rowdy Roddy Piper earlier tonight. And here we come, waiting. Entrant number three is going to be Greg the Hammer Valentine. As Luke and Butch still going at it. And now Greg Valentine. Oh, Valentine going after both Bushwhackers here. It's every man for himself, so I don't surprise. Oh, no, look at that. Butch picks up Luke and slams him down to the mat. And wow, look at the first four members of this match. You have the Bushwhackers, Luke and Butch, and you also have the former Dream Team. Of course, that was a couple years ago. Brutus Beefcake and Greg Valentine, no longer a tag team, but partners are controlling the ring right now in the early going of the Royal Rumble. Again, 20 men over the top rope. The winner gets a shot at the World Heavyweight title at WrestleMania. As Valentine has Butch. And here comes Brian Nobbs. Brian Nobbs of the Nasty Boys going to work after Bushwhacker Luke. Of course, what a nut of action we've seen. We have a new Intercontinental Champion and I can't believe I'm going to say this, but maybe more important than that is the fact that there are multiple doinks, at least two. As we saw two doinks. A second doink. Oh, and up and over the top rope goes Butch. And Butch has been eliminated by Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Into the... Oh, and Luke threw... 
beefcake into Valentine, and Valentine did not take too kindly to that. Oh, and here comes Papa Shango. As Beefcake and uh, Luke try to throw Valentine out of the ring, and they do. Greg the Hammer Valentine has been eliminated. And now Luke <laughs> biting Brutus Beefcake. They just eliminated Greg Valentine together. And that partnership did not last very long. Papa Shango now going at your Duggan. Up and over the top rope goes Luke, eliminated by Brutus Beefcake. And Beefcake now throws uh, Nobs over the top rope, and Nobs goes back in. And the one, two, three kid is the next competitor. As Papa Shango has Jim Duggan up over his shoulder. Duggan trying to fight out and does. And now Duggan and Beefcake double teaming Papa Shango. As Knobs and the one, two, three kid go at it in the upper right corner. And here comes the Macho Man, Drew number nine of 20. Of course, he participated in the earlier match and an outfit change for the Macho Man here tonight. Maybe this outfit, this ring attire will give him better luck as Papa Shango trying to throw out Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Savage trying to throw out Beefcake. And now Nobs over to help Shango. Duggan in trouble. And Duggan able to fight his way out of it. As Beefcake and Savage going at it. No love lost there. On the clothesline from behind by the one, two, three kid. And here comes number 10. We are halfway through the uh, participants, and it is the Warlord. As a spike pile driver by Brian Nobbs takes down Brutus Beefcake, and Shango, oh, and up and over goes Savage. Has been eliminated. Oh man, the Warlord eliminated the Macho Man. And he will not get a world title match at WrestleMania. And one has to wonder what is next for the Macho Man. He lost the four-man battle royal tonight. And he has been eliminated already from the, the Royal Rumble itself. And here comes number 11, entrant number 11, Shawn Michaels, the Heartbreak Kid. And Michael's going right after Brutus Beefcake as Papa Shango with a big right hand to the one, th one two, three kid. And Duggan and the Warlord going at it. Michaels has Beefcake almost up and out. Knobs coming to the aid and they throw Beefcake over the top rope. Brutus Beefcake has, has been eliminated. eliminated. And again, no teamwork lasts long here. As Michaels throws Nobs into the turnbuckle, gets ran from behind by the one, two, three kid. When this ring fills up with wrestlers, you lose a lot of the space to do moves. And it's just bodies flying everywhere. As the countdown to the next participant and number 12 is Earthquake. As Warlord trying to throw out the one, two, three kid. It's Nobs and Duggan that have been in this match the longest, but that's not saying much. Eliminations have happened fast and furious here at the Royal Rumble. Shango trying to eliminate Brian Nobs as Earthquake has Duggan and drapes him across the top rope. Michael's in trouble. He's against the ropes, so Warlord. Oh, and Michael's able to fight his way out, and Nobs gets back into the ring. Wow, so much fast and furious action here in the Royal Rumble. One of these men will get a world title opportunity at the Nature Boy Ric Flair at WrestleMania. 
but we still have several participants to go, including we know of Dusty Rhodes and Hulk Hogan. And up and over goes Duggan and eliminated by Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels with an elimination and a side slam on Earthquake, the sheer strength. As Shawn Michaels taking his vitamins and a big chop and Earthquake in trouble. Oh, a low blow and a DDT by Michaels. As Papa Shango and Brian Knobs going at it, boss man in the ring. And he's going at your Papa Shango. Ooh, and a super kick by Michaels. And elimination. I didn't see who that was. The boss man eliminated somebody. It was Papa Shango. And Bossman with a DDT on Knobs. Knobs has now been in the ring the longest. And another DDT by Shawn Michaels on the Earthquake. He's trying to wear down the Earthquake, I think, before throwing him out of the ring. As Bossman has the Warlord. The Warlord's almost eliminated. Up and over goes the Warlord, hanging on for dear life. And the 1 2 3 kid with an elimination over Brian Knobs. And the earthquake thrown out by Shawn Michaels. Warlord has Shawn Michaels trying to throw Michaels out of the ring. He does, but Michaels landing on the apron. And here's number 14 is The Undertaker. For whom the bell tolls as The Undertaker slides into the ring. And Shawn Michaels goes right after Taker, nails him with a DDT tamp and over goes the one, two, three, kid. The competitor has been eliminated. Big boss man and Warlord eliminating the one, two, three, kid together as Undertaker and Shawn Michaels go at it. Ooh, and a nice slam by Warlord takes down the big boss man in number 15. Here he comes. The fans rise. It's Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan did not fare well tonight in the four person Royal Rumble. He was eliminated by Owen. Up and over goes Michaels. Shawn Michaels eliminated. Hulk Hogan was eliminated earlier tonight by the Macho Man. A running clothesline took care of Hogan rather quickly up and over goes Hogan Warlord showing his strength as the big boss man trying to eliminate the Undertaker and here comes number 16 the American Dream Dusty Rhodes also in that contest earlier tonight he and Hogan teaming up on Raw just a couple weeks ago to take on Mr. Perfect and Ric Flair could we see some of that teamwork here tonight And now the countdown has begun. Another competitor coming. We are getting down to the nitty gritty here. And it is the Rocket Owen Hart making his way to the ring. Owen Hart slides in. Has his eyes set on Dusty Rhodes and going to work on the American Dream. And Owen with a beautiful suplex takes down the American Dream Dusty Rhodes as Hulk Hogan and The Undertaker going at it. Boss Man throwing Warlord over the top rope. Warlord hanging on for dear life. And is able to slide back into the ring. Hogan now going to work on The Undertaker. And there's number 18, the Texas Tornado Kerry Von Erich. Into the ring goes Von Erich. Oh, and up and over the top rope. An elimination by the big boss man. Hogan in trouble. Boss man going after Hogan. And Kerry Von Erich inadvertently saved Hogan from an elimination. 
But oh, over the top rope goes Hogan. Bossman has Hogan and kicks him off. Hogan has been eliminated. A competitor has been eliminated. The Warlord was eliminated earlier. I don't know if somebody else got him in the fast and furious action here. As Mr. Perfect is number 19, he's taking a sweet time to get to the ring. And that means there's only one man left at number 20. And shall we say he may have purchased his way there. So one of these men will get a world title opportunity at WrestleMania against Ric Flair. And wouldn't that be something if it's Mr. Perfect? Of course, Dusty. Dusty and Perfect circling ways. And Undertaker goes up and over. The Undertaker has been eliminated, eliminated by Dusty Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes trying to eliminate Kerry. And he does. The, has been eliminated. the American Dream eliminates both Kerry Von Erich and The Undertaker. And Big Boss Man Dusty Rhodes, Mr. Perfect. Oh, and up and over goes Dusty. And Mr. Perfect, the big boss man, or this man right here, number 20, Ted DiBiase, will get a world title shot at WrestleMania against Ric Flair. And let me just say that it took a lot longer than the time allotment for Ted DiBiase to get his number drawn. He wants, I think he's paying people off all, everywhere here tonight. Oh, with DiBiase going to work on the big boss man. He's already one half of the World Tag Team Champions. Can he add the world title to his resume? The big boss man's dangerously close to being eliminated. And fighting his way out of it is the big boss man. Oh, boss man has DiBiase up and down with a suplex and DiBiase in trouble. It's Mr. Perfect now. Gets out of that slam and slams the neck of Boss Man down. And Mr. Perfect Snapmare takeover on Ted DiBiase and now snapping the neck of the Million Dollar Man. One of these three men will get a world title opportunity at WrestleMania against the champion. Of course, as of right now, that champion is Nature Boy Ric Flair. And here we go, the three, the last three men. They know what's at stake here. And boss man with a kick to DiBiase. Ooh, and DiBiase with an elbow back. A scoop slam by DiBiase and down goes the boss man. DiBiase now working over Mr. Perfect. One would think that Perfect and DiBiase may work to eliminate the big boss man. He's the biggest physical threat in this match. That's left in this match, anyway. And Perfect eliminates Ted DiBiase! We are down to two! The big boss man or Mr. Perfect will get a world tunnel match at WrestleMania against Ric Flair. And could you imagine if it's Mr. Perfect? What does that mean? He's already in cahoots with Ric Flair. Is Ric Flair going to make him give up the title match? Perfect. I guess that's a problem to worry about if Mr. Perfect wins. Snapmare takeover and snaps the neck of Boss Man. Mr. Perfect in control. Can he get a world title opportunity at the WrestleMania? And takes down the big Boss Man. And Mr. Perfect looking like he is very close to winning this match. And as I say that, the boss man shoves down Mr. Perfect. He winds up and a big uppercut takes down Mr. Perfect. The big boss man in control. Will the boss man make it to WrestleMania? Will he have a future world title match? A big red hand and Kurt Henning has been busted open. Belly to belly suplex by the big boss man. Mr. Perfect is in trouble. And the big boss man is going to win this match and get a future world title match. Sidewalk slam. Down goes Perfect. Boss man needs to throw Perfect over the top rope and he's going to win this thing. 
And a headbutt by Mr. Perfect. Oh, but Perfect making a comeback with a fireman's takeover. And a big red hand takes down the boss man. Oh, and a clothesline from behind. Down goes the boss man. Mr. Perfect back in control. Which one of these men will go on to WrestleMania to main event? And a standing dropkick by Mr. Perfect takes down the big boss man. And now Perfect setting up the big... He needs to throw the boss man over the top rope. Setting up, and here comes the Perfect Plex, but he can't pin the boss man in this match. Can Perfect eliminate the big boss man and get a world title match? At a WrestleMania high knee lift, takes the boss man down. And a short arm clothesline, the big boss man in trouble. Perfect, has the boss man, throws him into the ropes. But boss man throws Perfect out of the ring and your winner, the big boss man. The big boss man will get a world title match at WrestleMania. And I have to consider that an upset. The big boss man gets a main event match at WrestleMania against Nature Boy Ric Flair as it stands right now. And here are some highlights from earlier in the contest. Here is your winner, the Big Boss Man. Fans, thank you for joining us here for Got Mark 76 Presents the Royal Rumble. Your winner, the Big Boss Man, he will get a future world title match at WrestleMania against whomever the world champion is. Fans, we thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you tomorrow night for Monday Night Raw. Good night, everybody.